Hello everyone. Uh, it's early, well, it's not that early Sunday morning, but I just woke up on Sunday morning. And uh, we're going to play some more Jade Empire, because I did a shit ton of Overlord yesterday, and I've got loads to upload. So, um, let's focus on this, as we're getting towards the end-ish. And by that, I mean, I reckon there are ten parts, maybe. Maybe less, we'll see. Anyway, uh, let's get on with this wonderful adventure. Uh, I need to remind myself what I'm doing. We have to find some guy to kill, so the guy will throw the match. I'm not 100% sure where we find this guy, but I don't think it's in the arena, so we're going to go and have a look around for him in the uh, city itself and see if there's any other little quests we can do in the meantime. Let's make sure he is down here. No. Okay. Come on, Silk Fox. Let's go and find him and save the world. In fact, first, I think I'm going to take uh, Silk Fox back to meet the rest of the team and see how they are all faring in the Imperial City thus far. Have a look around here. Oh god, I don't want to do that. Oh, okay, it's fine. Okay, we've got to find this old guy apparently who uh who we need to kill. Own master died at her hands and I'm not 100 percent sure who we Oh, it's one of these guys then, I think. Just because they didn't agree with her. We just said who they were. I think it's yeah, it's this guy. Good day to you, citizen. General Stone Cow. Retired, that is. That's your <laughs> I challenge you to a duel to the death. I was wondering when we'd come to the point. You're up to face Iron Soldier next, aren't you? He's tried this little trick before. He doesn't like this guy, clearly, if he's going to keep killing when I kill you. I accept your challenge, and I will even educate you as to why. Just as I did for the two lads who previously stood where you are now. Oh, I bet they're dead, yeah? Uh, spare me the stories, old man. So be it. Let all know that I freely accepted this fight. And that on my honor, there will be no repercussions. Do your best. You'll need it. I reckon you're going to die in a few hits, to be honest with you. Yeah, like this. Oh, actually, he's quite tough. He knows when to block. It's a bit more than some of them, though. My right, guy's dead. And I leveled up as well. Awesome. Awesome news, Captain Sen. Anyway, uh, while we're here if you think in the city, this person, you must it to the there's a few things we're going to do before... In fact, no, actually, no. I'm going to finish the arena first. I think it's probably for the best. Because I'm going to have to go back that way anyway if I want to do the other the other aspect of getting joined the Lotus. Lessons. There's two paths, like an Inquisitor and a Warrior. And you can do both. Someone kindly reminded me of that. So uh, I will do both, I think, because it's worth seeing both. Um, let's level up first, though. Look at that. All that close fist points. We're getting awesome here. Let's go for balanced again. Fuck it. And uh, I have 18 points to spend, which I'm going to spend mostly in my focus thing, because it's amazing. There we go, only two points left, so that's fine. And we're going to go off, uh, I guess, back to the arena and tell the guy the wonderful news. In fact, actually, first note, I know I keep saying this, we're going to go and see uh, if Silk Fox has anything to say to my companions, in which we can continue our like uh, relationship somewhat. I can't even remember how to get to my companions, so I stay here. Oh, they're hanging out back here in a lovely little area here, look. Oh, they're all chilling out. I've got something to say. Well, it looks like your contact with the Lotus Assassins will be bad for your reputation, but good for our goal. Good for you, you Silk Fox. I can't agree with this. You don't know what you're getting into. You don't know the danger they represent. Oh, shut up, Z. You're boring. Really? What did you see while hiding in your swamp? I've observed Death's Hand for years, both in the palace and elsewhere. You could have four faces and a different name and wardrobe for each, and you still wouldn't understand. Death's hand is not what he seems. To be fair, he probably knows what he's talking about, but still. Then what, pray tell, is he? I don't know, but his power does not come from study or skill. He is something darker, and we should not be trying to enter his lair. It sounds like Sagacious Zoo wants to go back into hiding, or perhaps the nursery... Pay no attention. Not everyone is as weak as he is. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> so case you see, we'll do what I say when the time comes. You don't know what they are capable of. You're boring. The matter is settled. Go sulk in the corner like you're accustomed to doing. Side with her every time as well, obviously. <laughs> actually guys! Anything. Are we any closer to getting to the Lotus Assassin so this accursed woman will help us find Master Lee? Oh dear. 
Oh, she spits fire at last. Now I see how the child left her little village. She has some spirit in her after all. Well, they were getting well. And surprisingly, she's right. You've made contact with the Lotus Assassins, but haven't shown them why they need to fully accept you. The executioner wants to see you accept. I know you this. Prefer, you could... Okay, uh, is something troubling you? Your feelings are important to me. I'm not sure. Goodbye for now. Okay, so I'm that's that done. Basically, these guys were asking to say to me, and uh, I think once I've done the. Uh... This can't be happening. Yeah, you I can't sell upgrades if I can't find supplies. I'm ruined. Finished. This guy here lets you do fire missions and things like that, which I can't be asked to do any of because it's a bunch of shit and I will never do them. So we're going to leave those. Um, we're going to head back to the execution thing now and get on with the uh, arena storyline, which I am going to become the champion of, even if it takes a bit more effort. Um, then we will do the Inquisitor story. But yeah, I intend to do another bonus video as well at some point of the Companions Conversations uh, just there. So, um... I think we'll do that fairly shortly, but that will be a separate video, like I say. Okay, um, where's the guy we need to talk to? Iron Soldier? Oh, he was down there, wasn't he? He was down in the, uh, the pits, I think. Or is he there now? There he is. I know why you're here. I've got friends out there, and I know all about Cal, so stop fretting. Kui's been informed that I will face you now. Okay, here we go. Time to face Iron Soldier. I want to hear that you're ready for... We're going to go straight in, and we're going to have him throw the game for us, which is good, and gets us close fist points. or some news. Let's go! The crowd are going wild. They don't know the match is rigged. Everyone's going to be over the fucking moon, and, uh... Yeah, we're all happy. Unless it's all a trap to kill me. Oh, fuck me! That is fucking awesome. Let's fucking do this. Can Silver Phoenix take the Silver Division? Iron Soldier will not fall easily. Okay, let's go. Come on, that face, come on. He has to throw the game, he's not even attacking me. That's awesome. There we go, they're booing, but fucking I won. Very little effort needed on my part because. Soldier is a worthy opponent. I hope you understand how many warriors have tried to extrapolate him from the Silver Division Championship. Be proud! From here, your battles will be even harder. A test, if you will, to see if you stand a chance against the Ravager. Impress the crowd and you... Uh, the crowd loved that fight. I think I need to talk about some extra silver. Surely this was enough! I know you... Oh, I can't intimidate him. Get over here, Silver Champion. We have something to discuss. The crowds won't forget that anytime soon. You earned it. Eliminating the General couldn't have been easy. He was getting on in years, but was never an easy opponent. And here, take this. Lily collected for us. Ah, uh, lucky for you, stuck to your end of the bargain. Still a mouth on you. I like that. You're gonna do fine. I'm gonna. This. Okay, so anyway, we're gonna get on. Oh God, what's going on here? Oh, the Lotus Assassins. We we've done their part your so far. Your victories are impossible for the other fighters to ignore. You are a master of the arena. The ground where executioners are born. Look at that fucking sky, it is fucking disgusting. Perhaps you have potential that you are not even aware of. There may be a role in. Do you think you stand a. Ch uh. If you are worthy of me? That is a strong position to take, and one that we respect. You will have to remember, however, that if we accept you, you will be a mere recruit. If you survive, you will join an order unlike any other. We enforce the will of Death's Hand and the Emperor. We guard the treasures of the Empire. This will be your responsibility. Can you look on silver coins, golden tablets, or prophesized artifacts and think only of duty? I can think only of money. Uh, I would be honored. Then we will waste no more time. You are adequate, and I will allow you to begin training. Proceed to our fortress. It lies at the far side of the burial ground that is the necropolis. 
which you may reach through the rich section of the city. Present this token so that they will know you. I expect great... Ah, uh, you will find that I am no ordinary recruit. Indeed. Many others think that they are above the norm when they join us, as if acceptance elevates their status. You will learn that conformity to our ways will serve you better. I am well aware of those who come with you, their strengths and their weaknesses. You inspire loyalty in most of those who follow you. That will serve you well. Uh, they will serve me well or they will suffer the consequences. Good. Use them and discard them if they become weak. That is the way. If you survive your training and remain in control of your senses, perhaps you will serve at my side one day. Good. I knew you could be relied upon. The others will want to know. We should go see them after we leave the arena. Hurrah! You must go to... Uh... That is your... Basically, we're going to do the other task first as well, so you guys get to see both, uh, both, both, um... I don't understand. You've gained the favor of the Lotus Assassins with a fair amount of ease. What else is there to speak of? We're going to flirt with her again if we can. Is there something you are wondering? Yes, there is. Uh, tell me about yourself. I want to know about you. About me? I am Princess Sun Lian, the Heavenly Lily. What more are you worthy of knowing? Oh, fine. Uh... Tell me about Silk Fox. Ah, the shadow behind my public self. How else can a curious princess learn what really happens in her domain? I don't have time to interpret the veiled statements of advisors, so I became a thief, an assassin, whatever I needed to be. People will not speak to the princess. Bad news kills the messenger first. Silk Fox knows how to persuade. That is how I learned about the activities of Death's Hand. Uh, I'm sure you find being Silk Fox exciting as well. There is a freedom in it. I have the resources to go anywhere in the secrecy to do anything. If I wished it, I could be quite carefree. But that is not what I have found in practice. Instead, I see how my father's reign has twisted, and I know I must do something. Uh, tell me about your first love. You announce your questions like a wild animal with no warning of the claws you unleash. Proceed slowly, lest you turn me away. That was pretty fucking harsh. I didn't really say much there. Whoa. Okay, uh... Tell me about your time at court. I do not like to speak about that. I try to avoid the court as much as possible. Hmm, I think I might fuck things up, but never mind. It's filled with sycophants pandering to the fancies of my father, with little or no concern to their own dignity. It is distasteful. It doesn't sound very interesting. The Imperial Court performs a necessary function in a very inefficient way. When I succeed my father, there will be quite a cleaning out. But with Death's hand manipulating him, that day seems less and less likely. Oh, I can I can keep saying it, but I think it pisses her off. Uh, tell me about your childhood. I do not remember ever being allowed to just be a child. My mother died when I was born, shortly before the end of the long drought and the fall of my uncle. I was in the care of tutors too afraid to punish me and too ingratiating to teach me anything useful. I quickly found ways to sneak away from the palace. They dared not report my excursions for fear they would be punished. They would scurry around all day trying in vain to find me. She was a bit of a rebel. Um, what do you do in the city? I met the people, the peasants, the homeless, the thieves. Such a different world from what you see from the palace walls. They never realized who I was. I'm sure they would have been terrified of the army storming in to rescue me. Most just wanted to be left alone. That life was exciting, but also useful. Even Lotus assassins overlook the beggar on the street, but she still has eyes and ears. I'll try this again. That's better. I like that you listen, although your request is still very improper. Unless you make me a little more comfortable. <laughs> I have already shared something of myself. Can you tell me something about you? Is there anyone that you care for? Okay, uh... Well, there is one person, a noble. A noble? How romantic. Aloof, separate by class and breeding, unattainable for a peasant, normally. Wanting someone you can never have, 
Love you can never show in public. Such loneliness should not exist. I mean, that worked, probably. I have contributed to that. The princess behaves as she should, reinforcing the very rules I despise. All to protect Silk Fox. Which one am I? We'll go for... You are Silk Fox, and you take what you want from whoever you want. That is where happiness lies. If the freedom you suggest is there, I have never felt it. I have hidden within this costume so I would not have to conform to what others want. It feels more like a retreat than a victory. I can show strength, certainly, but only by hiding my true nature. Hmm. This is going in quite interestingly. Uh, you cling to traditions that should be left behind. Clearly you want more. I can provide that. As princess, I cannot pick and choose what rules of the Empire I follow. Not if I'm trying to restore the glory it once had. No, but you can gradually cave into my idea. You taunt me with feelings I cannot have and dare not want. And it is my fault for encouraging you. You are <laughs> unlike any woman I have ever met. It's funny. I turned many men into fools with charms similar to those you now direct at me. I truly did not understand the power we hold. Why do we not rule? Oh god, this is like... She's like talking to, talking to a fucking child. Uh... Hmm. Hmm, I don't know. This is a difficult one. Uh... Fuck! Um... I have tried to make a place for myself. It was difficult, but I have succeeded, despite death's hand or my father or what people think. But you are another matter. When I look at you, I see someone I could know better than anyone. Someone who could understand what I need. So it's going very fucking well. Very fucking well. It frightens me how much you intrigue me. <laughs> um... <laughs> no doubt you would. You treat me like the foolish boys I have tossed aside in the past. I think I rather like that. <laughs> you asked me about my first love. It was the Empire and its people. There might be room for another, given time and effort. Ah, uh, say it's going well. How would the court react? You have the skill to be charmingly discreet, but a few people could use a shock now and then. She likes me, see? It's fucking working. You and I will have much to discuss after we have restored my father. I am looking forward to it. Goodbye for now. We should return. So yeah, she's really fucking happy about that. That fucking uh, has never gone that well, that conversation. I usually fuck it up at least once. So yeah, there we go. Uh, Silk Fox is falling for me, which is what I wanted. Um, and you can see, it takes quite a bit more effort than in fucking Mass Effect, like I said before. In fact, it takes... It takes a lot more effort than most other Bioware games, to be fair. Baldur's Gate was pretty tough, although there was no same-sex relationships in that. Um, anyway, after that conversation went so well, I'm going to save my game, and we're going to finish the arena. Yeah, I'm recording. <laughs> Balrog is a good friend of mine, but I am recording. Not the time to be talking. <laughs> The Phoenix Unity is among the rarest of styles. No one person has defeated it. Yet. Okay, we're gonna get our next fight and we're gonna win. This guy's using apparently one of the rarest styles. Uh, fucking bullshit. Fucking two can play that game, fuckface. Yeah. Fucking I'll send out massive earthquakes out my anus. I'll fucking fuck you up, won't it? Oh god, what's going on? That's bullshit. That is fucking cheating. That is fucking cheating. There was distinctly only one of you. I saw there was only one of you. Am I poisoned? Yeah, I am. Fuck. Fucking! Fucking cunts, basically. Fucking splitting in half every few fucking seconds. Totally out of order. There'll be spikes coming out of that fucking thing in the middle. Ow, 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 fuck! 
Okay, the arena's getting a bit tougher now. Come on. Ow. Stop poisoning me! Go away! Come on, get him away from the others, that's fine. Good, only two left. There we go, don't have to heal with Chi. I'm glad the crowd aren't like, well the crowd kind of are two-dimensional ish. They're all the same guys again and again and again, but still. You know. I think it's not a bad crowd. So of you left Phoenix Assassin number 72. You're gonna fucking die. There we go, dead as a door now. And we are victorious and we get more money. I don't know what money in this game I never fucking use. I never buy anything, I never do anything. You can get to the game without spending any money. Unity style was banned from tournaments because it was unbeatable. But I've never put much stock in legends. That was exactly how I wanted your gold division matches to start. You need the people on your side before you can face the Ravager. Tell me about our next fight. I was going to do something different, but I've had a request from the Sung Brothers. They said that there's been a an affluence of the fates, and they... I'm not quite sure what that means, but if they want to face you, then I have to honor their request. Besides, defeating them is important to your career. Uh, why is that important? I require that any fighter who wishes to face the Ravager be able to defeat all three of the Sung Brothers. Then I know you won't be torn to shred. Well, at least not before the gong stops ringing, at any rate. The brothers are ready if you are. Yeah, let's go. Here we go, the Sung Brothers next. They will hopefully be dead soon. I, I guess these people aren't dying, they're just getting beaten up, aren't they? Apart from that, that girl we poisoned. And magic will be needed to defeat these brothers three. Hmm. I'm not overly concerned. I'm gonna kill the guy shooting fucking laser beams out of his hands first. There you go, it's one down. Fuck off, I was doing a long attack. Very rude to interrupt someone while they're doing a long attack, seeing as how long it takes to fucking charge up. Do it again! Ah! Away, Mr. Fire. And you fucking two sword man. Fuck! Half my health gone. That's like more than anyone else has done apart from like one of the ogre things. One of the demon things. There we go. I have to heal up a bit. Fuck. There you go, you said. We're done. Sung Brothers down. Rabbit Jackie, we fucking come. Three opponents at once, all of them exceptionally skilled. I thought no one could impass them, but you have. I have indeed, I'm amazing. Uh, I deserve more silver than this. No, it doesn't work. I'm now so shit at this. Settled, what else can I do for Tell me about my next fight. I want to give you a shot at the championship. I really do. I need to convince others. Oh, if I sell some more bullshit to guy. I'm going to hold an event so huge that it will rock the reaches of the Empire. The Imperial Engagement. The arena turns upon you. You will be one woman against a rushing tide of foes. You must stand against them all, and when you do, your right to challenge the Ravager will be indisputable. So it's going to be like a survival gauntlet thing. I think thing. you'll be able to handle yourself, but I'm not holding back out there. I think it's going to be a fun challenge. You might even survive if you pace yourself. Uh, okay, so I have to fight them all. Okay, uh, blah, 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 Um, let's go. We're going to win the Imperial Engagement, guys. We're going to fight everyone we previously fought, apart from the people I actually killed, and then we're going to fucking, uh, be fine. The Imperial Engagement begins! An ogre begins the onslaught! Right, it's going to be quite lengthy. Let's fucking do this. I'm pretty confident. And the fact that I'm going to kill this guy before the next one comes in. What's next, guys? Come on. Bring it on. Bring it on. I'm going to leave the things there in case I need them later on. Who's next? Come on. Oh, it's a shit guy. Hello, shit guy. Yeah, that is a bow. Yeah, he's down. Seven seconds. Woo! 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 What's next? Come on. 
Oh, there's only Toad Demon. Hello, Toad Demon. How are you? I miss you. We were like good friends once. What is the greater foe? Exhaustion or a fiend fallen from the heavens? Oh, for fuck's sake. So demons come from heaven in Chinese culture, do they? I don't know. This could be bad, by the way, because this guy's going to keep kicking my ass. I think he's the most dangerous opponent that I fought. There we go. I'm going to get my mana back. Who's next? Oh, it's Iron Soldier. Iron Soldier makes another foray against his nemesis. Well, uh, you said you weren't holding back, but all you've done so far is different is block a little bit. For blocking. There we go. Yeah, you're down. Who's next? Come on. Oh, fuck. That's fucking cheating using a fucking... Okay, this could be bad. Come on, come on, die. Yeah, he's next, come on. For this battle, Sun Bo enters alone. His speed is on Oh, he's one of the brothers. There we go, he's next. Oh yeah, we're back on top, we're back on top of the time. Fucking bodies piling up everywhere. Gonna be another one of the, the Tong brothers, I guess. Yeah. The towering strength of Sun Bu crashes upon the ring! Oh, whatever they're called, I can't remember they're called. I can just kill him. I'm getting the wrecks up with the uh, directors, the Pang brothers. <laughs> Let's go, next one. One more to go. Who is this? The guy was on fire last time, I think. The master of mysticism is the last to enter this epic confrontation. Well, it's not really an epic confrontation because they're they're all pretty much fucking dead apart from uh, him. And me, of course. There you go. Victory is mine. Oh, dead. Ha ha. Huzzah, etc. Huzzah, everyone. Remember to use that more in everyday conversation. Mm -hmm.